In today's video, we will be looking at how to install the Azaha Blast 3DS emulator so that we can enjoy any 3DS title games right on our Android device. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys on how to get the Azaha Plus emulator and also how to install game and enjoy .3DS file games right on your mobile phone. So without much ado, let's get started. Not long ago, Azar got released to the public and most of us were amazed because of how the emulator really works. At first, it was the Lime 3DS emulator which later changed everything to the Azar 3DS emulator. Unfortunately, after the launch of the emulator, most of the 3DS games weren't supported, meaning if your game file is not .cia, you can't play any games with this emulator so let's say you have a 3ds game and the game is dot 3ds file the azaha emulator won't recognize the game and you won't be able to play the game using the emulator that is why in today's video i'm going to show you how to bypass that i mean how to use the azaha 3ds emulator to play any kind of file format games like the .cia or the .3ds game file so meaning if you if your game file comes as in the form of .3ds you can play the game using the azaha 3ds emulator so as you can see i'm running the emulator and it is in current version so this is the emulator and i'm successfully running the emulator and all these games are .3ds file games now when you look here i have something like the azaha plus emulator and the plus simply means that you can use this emulator to play any .3ds game files without facing any error or anything so when you look here i have the emulator over here and also when you look here i have something like application azaha plus config gpu drivers and so on now to download the emulator i'll show you guys how to get the azaha plus emulator so to get the azaha plus emulator head over to this website over here so this website say azaha plus i mean the github page for this emulator i mean the azaha plus is um you'll find the link under this video description so all what you have to do is just press on the link and it should take you to the github page of the emulator now when when you are when you are in the github page you you can see something like the azar plus android coexists with azaha and azar plus android replaces azaha now what this simply means is that when you download this this will coexist with the original Azaha emulator or better still, you can run the two including the original Azaha and also the Azaha plus emulator. So um, with this one, you have to choose one. So I'll, I'll recommend you guys to choose and choose this one which says replace. So you have to press on it and then you start download the emulator. So I've already downloaded the emulator. So it's asking me to down whether to download it again. So I'll press cancel. And for those of you who are using the Linux and Windows, you, if you are on Microsoft Windows, then meaning you have to choose the as as plus Windows. And the same thing applies to when you are on Linux user. When you are a Linux user, you have to choose this one but this tutorial is based on or is targeted on the android so probably you have to choose the android version so after downloading the emulator you should see something like this you should see something like azaha plus blah 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 but before we go on or before we proceed with the installation process now uh, you need to have a file manager like the z archiver you can download this file manager in the google play store 
so after downloading the file manager open it and then open it and then create a folder create a folder create a folder and name it dot 3ds as it is shown in this video so create a folder like this and name it dot 3ds now inside the folder create another folder like application as a plus and so on and also roms now the roms folder simply means the roms folder will contain your 3ds file or your 3ds games so after creating this now let's go ahead and proceed with the installation process first of all press on the emulator press install and wait for it to finish installing after that just open the emulator and at the welcome page just press on get started now here it says permission grant permission for notification and microphone better store you can grant permission for your camera but that one depends on you after that just press on next now here it says data folder remember we created a sub folder in 3ds folder that we name it as a half plus so um this folder which is called the azaha plus will be our data folder so after creating the azaha plus now here like this select this and then select the folder that says the azaha plus so which is this one which is this one so you select the azaha plus folder and then press on use this folder press allowed press ok now here the application simply means that the games the application means game so when you press here you are going to need or you will need to select the folder that contains your 3ds rom files so you press this and then you go ahead and you select your roms folder why roms folder because the roms folder contains our 3ds games files or games roms so after selecting the roms folder just press on use this folder press allow and then it says complete just press next press done now head over to the these three dots here and then under the settings graphics make sure this thing is on vulcan i recommend you guys setting this to vulcan because for me like this vulcan works very well for me and then with the internal resolution if you have a higher end device you can set it to this but if you have a low end device leave it as it is so um as you can see all these games are dot 3ds file games and with the original azaha emulator dot 3ds file games won't show unless dot cie so these games are dot 3ds files games okay so thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please go ahead subscribe like comment and share it among your friends thank you for watching see you next time